delicious cauliflower fritters baked and fried both ways are amazing and delicious make them stay tuned for the recipe hello everybody this is alessandra welcome to my home welcome to my kitchen I'm going to make something super simple frittelle di cavolfiore cauliflower fritters they're delicious easy they're great christmas time but actually any time of the year let's get started with the ingredients that i have right here i had a cauliflower uh, it was beautiful and white. It was just calling my name when I went to the market today. We have eggs. We have pecorino romano. You could use parmigiano reggiano. One clove of garlic, which is optional, but I do like it. Flour. And being that we have fresh basil from the garden, I'm using basil and parsley together. Because you know what? Why not? We have it. It's beautiful, it's in season, it's gonna add amazing flavor. Did I mention the black pepper? I don't know if I did. Now let's get started. First thing you're gonna do is add a pot where your cauliflower is gonna be able to fit in, add a pot with a little bit of water. You don't want too much water because you don't want all the nutrients to get washed away from the cauliflower. So basically just a couple inches at the bottom to sort of get steamed. Water is boiling. I left the stem on. I just rinsed the cauliflower in cold running water. I'm going to place it at the bottom. I'm almost sitting it in with its own stem. Place a lid on it, lower your flame, and let it cook until it's tender. Let's check for tenderness. It's been boiling about 10 minutes. I think it's ready. Okay, let's remove it and let it cool completely. Next whisk, what we're going to add is the, the cheese, so the garlic, I just take the clove, what you do is make multiple slits right on top, like this, and then just look how little it is, look how fine it comes. What you do is bunch up your herbs, roll it up tightly, and just cut them little by little look at that you could even make little slits so it comes out even smaller there you go so well mixed time to add the black pepper you know i've been using lately the tricolor peppers and i must say it, it it has such a smoky wonderful flavor that i really prefer it to just regular black pepper try it you will you will not be disappointed the cauliflower is completely cooled. Let's you see it's nice and tender. So just take the pieces off. If you have the large part of the stem, like right here, so just make make sure you just cut that right out. It's nice and tender. Just break it up with your fingers like this. Okay, here it goes. It's only small pieces. Now we're going to add it to the egg mixture. Now we're going to give it a good stir so the egg is echo queen. Come closer, I want you to take a look. Now, the flour, that's going to be as a binding agent. So we're going to add it a little bit at a time. Don't be afraid to use the spatula and smash it down on the sides. You know what? I feel like it needs more pepper, so I'm gonna add a little bit more pepper. There it goes. Let's add the flour a little bit at a time because we want a certain consistency. Still is very wet. So I'm gonna go ahead. Don't forget, I'm going to have all the precise measurements in the recipe. I want you to take a look. This is a Thick it needs to be and you know that the egg is not running then you know you've added enough flour we're gonna try something new today we're gonna bake them let's see how they come out and then we'll compare with the fried ones oven on 375 and we'll get them baked I use this for everything except for ice cream so Ice cream scooper, the oil is at 350. Come closer, I'll show you. We'll just add it in. And there it goes. See, it's frying nicely. Don't overcrowd it. Whenever you fry, 
Don't ever overcrowd simply because it brings the temperature down. So nice and easy. Flip them over and let them cook golden brown on both sides. Okay. Let the oil drain a little bit and then on a uh, cookie sheet with a rack, just place them to drain. That's, by the way, that's the best way to completely get the oil off your fried food without letting it sit on a uh, greasy paper towel. I want to talk about it a little bit when you're frying. So I can't really tell you where the, you know, you need to play with the heat. You got to know your stove. Because what happens is if the oil is too hot, they burn on the outside and the inside stays um, raw. So always make sure that you need a soft, uh, um, Deve friggere gentile, a gentle fry. So take a look, this is exactly how you want it because then they are a golden color and you know that they're cooking through. See that? Look how beautiful this color is. Here we have it, we have the baked ones, the fried ones. They're both delicious. I tasted both, I did add some uh, fresh uh, Himalayan salt on it for extra flavor. Uh, the consistency I find that the ones that you fried kind of uh, uh, become thicker. You see that? You see what I mean? It's got a softer uh, center. The ones we baked, which are also very, very good, they're just a little bit flatter. If picky eaters in the house make them, they'll never know that this healthy vegetable inside. So wonderful to enjoy. Uh, great for the holiday. Great anytime. Grazie for watching. Remember, all my recipes are on www.alessandrasfoodislove.com. You're able to print them. To be notified of new recipes coming up, hit the subscribe and hit the bell button. Grazie, arrivederci, alla prossima, and let's keep cooking together.